Welcome back. This is Arise News. You're watching The Morning Show with me, Biola Labi. My three guests today are Dr. Abbasade George, a professor of African history at Bernard College and Columbia University in New York. Her works include an award-winning book, Making Modern Girls, a history of girlhood, labor, and social development. She is currently at work on another project, the EcopolitanProject.com a digital forum dedicated to historical research on migrant communities in 19th century Lagos. And Dr. Saeed Aderinto, a professor of African history at Western Carolina University, United States. He is the author of numerous articles and several full-length books, including his prize-winning 2015 work, When Sex Threatened the State, Illicit Sexuality, Nationalism, and Politics in Colonial Nigeria. 1900 to 1958. He's a senior research fellow at the French Institute for Research in Africa. Also, Dr. Ademide Adelusi Adelui is a professor of African history at the University of California, Riverside, trained as both historian and a computer engineer. Her research combines urban history, technology, cartography, and spatial analysis. Her current book project, Imagine Lagos, Map Making and Representation in West Africa is a spatial history of early Lagos. Accompanying this book project is a cartographic database, New Maps of Old Lagos, which offers visual representations of urban change by illustrating the effects that so civil wars, colonialism, slavery, and emancipation had on the city's morphology. All three of them spoke with me earlier in the week on the Lagos Studies Associations. Let's take a listen. Well, thank you guys so much for being on the show today. Thank you, thank you for having us. Yes. So the Lagos Studies Association conference has just concluded. Yes. And you were all, you're all part of it and part of the planning and part of the, so I'm sure you're all breathing a sigh of relief a little yes. bit. You're excited. Yes. But tell me, how did the conference go this year and what was sort of your takeaways from the conference this year? Um, I'll say I'm going to start with you. The conference was excellent this year, and it was um, our second conference in Lagos, although the third conference that we've had. The first one was in New York, and one of the conclusions of that conference was that we thought about how much better it would be to have a Lagos conference in Lagos itself. Mm, mm, mm. So the first one we had in Lagos last year was very good, very well attended, maybe 200 people, but this one was even bigger. We heard about it, so yes. yeah, it's bigger. Yes. Yes. It was much bigger, very diverse set of contributions, and um, exactly the kind of conversation we want to see happening in Lagos about Lagos. Mm. So just, um, just to take us back a little bit, tell us a little bit about how this conference started and why did it start in New York and not in Lagos? Okay, so all of us are actually historians, mm -hmm. and we are all, we'd all been working on Lagos history. And um, I, we organized a conference at Barnard College and Columbia University, where I am based institutionally. And um, we wanted to bring together people who are working on Lagos, not just historians, but others as well. And so the idea originally was just to have a scholarly conference on people who are working on Lagos. Let's talk to each other, mm. exchange information. Um, by the end of that conference, which was fantastic, at Bonnet College in New York, um, we also had a good contingent from Nigeria that came to the conference and from other places. But by the end of the conference, we realized that we all meet each other not only in New York, but we really meet each other in Lagos too. Mm -hmm. We all pass through for research, for different reasons. And so we started talking about why not meet in Lagos, right? And from there, um, Saeed Adirinto, my colleague here, started talking about why not create some permanent institution. Okay. We have many groups that pass through Lagos or pass through African cities maybe once or twice or three times, but we don't have lasting institutions that you can say, oh, my, you know, this has been around for the 20th anniversary of blah, blah, blah. So, you know, why not at this stage in our careers try to build an institution. So the first conference was just a conference, and out of that came the idea for Lagos Studies Association as an institution that we can work on. 
PhD mm -hmm. people like I mean people are at home are like ah oh, this one is just for big head people let me just sit here. Is it for just I mean professors or scholars or is it for everyone? Who are the people that we would that are affiliate with the association? Yeah, so one of the unique things about the about the head essay is that we're able to bring together academics and non academics. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, uh, artists, filmmakers, development experts, the planners, planners actors, actors, mm -hmm. lawyers, lawyers, filmmakers. filmmakers. Mm -hmm. the, um, the keynote of the third conference was uh, given by Tonya Ide, who is a uh, template and former commissioner in Davis. Mm -hmm. So, unlike many other associations, uh, predominantly academic, we are both academic and non academic, and our colleagues who are academics are. Uh, the first stage of their career. Mm -hmm. They were graduate students, all of them are full okay. professors, okay. Mm -hmm. working across uh, different uh, uh, disciplines and fields. Why do you think it's important for the Lagos um, Studies Association to have a mixture of both scholars and also sort of the laymen that are passionate, I mean, that care about Lagos? Do you have to care about Lagos? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, non academics are also knowledge producers, artists, mm -hmm. filmmakers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And one of the unique things we are doing and we have been able to achieve a little bit is to actually allow both uh, communities to talk and exchange ideas. So the chiefs are also intellectuals, mm -hmm. they are indigenous mm -hmm. intellectuals. Mm -hmm. So they sit in their palace, you go to them to get information, then you write a book out of your article. Mm -hmm. But why can't we meet them to be part of the knowledge dissemination itself? So what we did this year is to bring some chiefs and had a panel on them on the role of traditional institutions in modern politics. So wow. I don't think of any other association that's able to do this the way we are doing it now. And you can only do this in Lagos, not elsewhere. Who was on that panel and what were some of the issues that were talked about and how does how do I mean how does royals how do royals play a huge role in political systems today? Um because we don't see them all the time in terms of the broad or feasible element of political institution, there's a lot of uh, assumption that they don't have a role to play. Mm -hmm. Ironically, they are the first line of defense in, in the grassroots political and security matters. And what we have done with the panel is to actually allow them to come to the academic community and talk to the academic community and exchange ideas with the academic community. So uh, when, we, I mean, when the debate about modern politics comes up, people always think that traditional institutions are just taking the money of the government and because they don't have uh, their own, they don't have their, they're not legally, uh, they don't have a legal power, but they have cultural power, they have spiritual religious power, and all these powers are tied to everyday realities. Mm -hmm. And so, ironically, they're actually closer to the people than even the government when it comes to social institutions and the ways they are to play those social institutions. Mm -hmm. So for us at the LSA, they are also knowledge producers. Yes. And they can be producing knowledge in different ways. But why don't we bring our field work to the site of knowledge dissemination mm -hmm. and also bring the children allow us to be able to integrate different perspectives, different personalities, different identities, and different ways of doing things. What are some of the takeaways for you that you're excited about and the things that you guys are going to be taking forward? What are some of the key things, and this is for all of you, mm -hmm. some of the key things that you felt that you, that the organization did very well this time that is going to inform your work going forward? Um, well, I think that our organization has a lot of strengths, especially in terms of the innovative ways that we bring people together to have these conversations. I think really one of our key strengths this year is the breadth of the conversations that we're having. Apart from those of us who are academics and we're really interested in specific kinds of topics that are geared towards sometimes more academic audiences mm -hmm. and sometimes it can be difficult because um, academic work can sometimes be alienating and people mm -hmm. think it's people who they can't really interact with or it has to be in a real, in a specific like university setting or something. And so one of the strengths of the conference, of the conference is really bringing people together for a conversation and really one, we had so many great panels. We had one of the last ones about fellows wives and actually thinking about their lives and their contributions to Afrobeats and how they've been written out in the narratives. And actually these are real people who still have to exist after fellows' death. We had panels on education, on immigrants, on the Nigerian immigrant um, experience, let's say places like Houston, in New York, whatever it is. So we really have a range of sociologists, 
anthropologists, all kinds of people coming and having conversations. And I think one of the really successful things about the conference is also the people. So the people that may not have opportunities as you, to come to Lagos, be, be part of the community, be part of an intellectual and really creative setting. I think that it's been really great for them to come and actually feel at home in Nigeria as opposed to be feeling alienated as, you know, I'm a Nigerian-American, I don't really know how I fit in here, that kind of thing. Or people who just don't have the opportunity to be here a lot. So it's really, it's almost like we're coming home and people are making friends and we're talking about things that, are, that we're really passionate about and we're really interested in. So I think that this year, apart from the intellectual rigor that has really expanded, mm -hmm. we have a new breadth in our conversations and there's really a depth to what people are doing. And it's really becoming a site where people can meet from all over the world and really talk about things that are not just historical like we do, but also really present minded. Mm. Like, you know, Lagos is a real place. Mm -hmm. People have real issues. Mm -hmm. And so even yesterday we had a tour of some of the sort of internally displaced people. Yeah. So the, I feel like there are a lot of things that we can do, not just in terms of you know what we're talking about, but also we can also be goal oriented in our conference. So in the past, um, let's say three years, I would say that our conference has really evolved from a place where we're just talking about exchanging ideas to places that are full of possibility and really meeting people and expanding our networks. And we don't even know what the future could hold because as more people come in and as, as they're interested, all kinds of opportunities and possibilities open. Mm -hmm. So that would be... Some of the takeaways from this. Yes, you. some of the takeaways yes. from this. Yeah. So it continues to be exciting in all kinds of ways we might not even have imagined. But I feel a real sense of fulfillment from even participating and meeting people. And you know, like when you start something, it can be very personalized. Sure. But then when you meet people who don't even know you or your role in the conference, but they're having a very specific conversation that you couldn't even have imagined, the idea of making a venue for that kind of conversation and for an institution to be not like you know personalized it's about one person or mm -hmm. something. It's really about people being excited to be here. And it grows also by word of mouth and by all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So I think we have a lot of potential mm -hmm. in that sense. Mm -hmm. What are the things that you're taking into the next conference that excite you and also some of the things that you find that might be daunting as you guys sort of think about next year and the next one? You know, we're thinking beyond next year. We're just <laughs> trying to think about sustainability, yeah. right, um, of this as an institution. So that may be, the sustainability question is a bit daunting, but as Nigeria is changing so much and so dynamic, you know, we're also optimistic that we will find our sustainability mm -hmm. in Nigeria using Nigerian resources mm -hmm. as well. Um, but in terms of um, what we're thinking about for next year, one of the things that I'm really interested in is really reimagining the conference, allowing the conference to be more visible as really a meeting point for academics and practitioners mm, 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 mm. and um, because it was started by academics <laughs> and we're very familiar with our own way of doing things mm -hmm. I think it still has a bit more of an academic flavor to it okay. but our interest in connecting with knowledge producers in other fields is very genuine has been there from the start it's written into our constitution it was the key advantage of being in lagos mm -hmm. right is that then you're not just gathered with a bunch of scholars who study a city far away sure but you're in that city with people who work on that city and daily gather and organize knowledge about that city in their own fields mm -hmm. so can we come together so i think that's the key goal for next year is how can we in the design the conference and in the design of the association which is bigger than the conference mm -hmm. our conference is our public face mm -hmm. how can we in designing for the future really um, make a substantive integration 